Are you hungry? Are you craving that Mexican food? Are you here in Layton? Perfect. This is where you want to be today. Hi everyone, it's Liz McHume with the C4 Real Estate Team and Cole Banker here in Farmington, Utah. And today I'm going to talk to you about some of the Mexican restaurants here in Layton. The first one is Cafe Sabor. It's on Main Street, right by the Front Runner Track Station. It's a cute little place, great atmosphere. They do have a bar. Um, love, love, love their chips and salsa. Their mild salsa is probably one of my favorites because it has a lot of flavor but really no heat. So I like that on occasion. Um, and then their hot is a nice little zing to it. So great food. We've always had good service there. Prices are pretty reasonable. You're gonna spend nine to $18 for um, different plates. One of the things I don't like about it is the parking. There's like limited parking there. You can park kind of to the north in the tracks front runner parking lot, but um, the actual parking for the restaurant is pretty limited. They do require masks right now. They, you can dine in, you can pick up, and I think they might still be delivering. They were through like Grubhub a couple weeks ago. You, know, you have to check their website though to verify that. They're open from 11 to um, 8 p.m. Mondays, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I think um, till 9.30 on the weekends. But great place, we like it. We've been there several times. It's a great place to just kind of go meet up with some people um, and have a chill dinner. Another place is Javier's. That's here in Layton off of Antelope. It's a family owned restaurant. So this, this family has like the six different locations. They're in Ogden and I think there's one in Bountiful and then Layton, but pretty decent food. There's no alcohol there if you're looking for that. Decent food, I'm going to tell you, it's not my favorite, but they do have uh, a pretty good tacos. I, I like their tacos and their, um, Chili Reno was pretty good, but overall it's okay. Same thing, you're gonna, prices are reasonable. The service is pretty good. Um, parking's kind of a, pay, a pain in that parking lot as well because it's right next to like Crumble Cookie, which we'll talk about those another time. And Seagull Book and then like Starbucks and it's just kind of a busier corner. So it's a little bit tricky to get in and out of that one. But pretty good food. It's more of a, mm, just kind of a sit down and relax kind of place. Not really, there's nothing too fancy about it. So it's good for just a quick lunch or something like that. And they're also dine-in or takeout pickup. They don't do delivery or any kind of grub hub or anything like that right now. Okay, moving on is Garcia's. Garcia's is around the corner by the mall. So it's off of Hillfield. Um, it's another traditional Mexican food. I've really enjoyed this place. I think they have great enchiladas. I really like their enchiladas. Their beans are a little bit thin for my taste, but you know, if you like soupy beans or thinner beans, it's great. Um, they have really good specials from time to time. So like their weekday specials are good and you can get a, a nice good amount of food for a decent amount of money. Um, they also have a happy hour if you're needing a little drink, a little pick-me-up or something. They have happy hour from four to six. Because of their seating, they limit, they don't serve parties over 10. So if you have a larger party, this is not the place to go. If you have you know, fewer than 10 people getting together, great. Great atmosphere, we've had good service there, good food, overall a great experience. And they are open till 9.30 weekdays and then till 10.30 on the weekends. I'll tell you my favorite now is the um, Cantina Southwestern Grill. It's on Main Street in Layton, and it's a great place. What I love about this place is we've always had really good service there. The prices are great for what you get. I think it's like 10 bucks and you get a couple of enchiladas plus beans and rice and you know all of it together, so that's nice. The bonus to this place though is their salsa bar. They have um, just a great salsa bar with lots of different options. There's some mild options, there's some really hot, very spicy, and then they have like this peanut salsa that I really like too. So check this place out because you'll like their salsa bar. And I judge a place, well, 
So chips and salsa kind of factor into that. A big, that's a big factor for me. So if you like the salsa, check out the Cantina Southwestern Grill. They are open um, till 9.30 most nights, but they are closed on Sunday. Great place to eat, really good service, really good food, and great little atmosphere. They do dine-in or pick-up. They don't do delivery either right now. I guess I need to give you a bonus one, huh? We can't have a Mexican or Tex-Mex or Southwestern Grill video without discussing Cafe Rio. Cafe Rio, if you've been to Utah, you've heard about Cafe Rio. It's the Tex-Mex type grill. And it's not, it's more of like your fast food chain type place. They're in Utah and Idaho. I actually really like Cafe Rio. My favorite thing there is the sweet pork salad. If I'm in a bad mood, that's my pick me up. Sweet pork salad. Prices are good, their specials are good, um, and you just can't go wrong. Their tomatillo dressing is phenomenal. I've tried to make that at home multiple times. So if you like kind of a lighter feel, you can get salads. If you want um, something a little more heavy, their carne asada burrito is like thick and ridiculously yummy. So give that a try if you haven't been out to Cafe Rio. They're all over the place. The one here in Layton is just off Antelope, uh, right by across from Target. And great places to eat if you're craving some Mexican food. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button and click the little bell so you can get notifications on what's coming up next. And then take a look at this video that's popping up next for more great information on eating, working, living, and anything else to do here in Northern Utah. If you're relocating here or have additional questions, just reach out to us. We'd love to help. You can call, text, or email anytime. One of us will be here.